So, what are we gonna do today, JC? Well, today I thought we'd try to boil some water using Mr. Sun. Well, it doesn't look like much of a Mr. Sun today, and... Well, that's because of Mr. Snow. Well, we have Mr. Snow to deal with also. But I figured we'd give it a try, as long as we got everything set up. Okay, Let's go me. in the garage and I'll show you what we're gonna use to boil Mr. Water. Oh, oh, Mr. Water, Mr. okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, Mr. Wizard. All right, um, this is... The outside temperature is about 34, 35 degrees. Uh, all right, let's uh, now in here, probably because of the lights from over here, it says the temperature is 38 degrees. That's inside this thing. If we switch this, you can see this is a, the temperature is 30, uh, 35. All right, so we can actually monitor the temperature. So the more important thing to remember is the ambient temperature is 30, 35, 36 degrees, uh, something like that. Uh, so, what we're going to do is you're going to use this evacuated tube that Bill Nickerson brought me, uh, care of Patrick Ward from Fossil Fe Freedom. Uh, so it's sort of like a thermos, uh, and the inside of this is going to get very hot when uh, the sunlight uh, strikes it. The problem is getting the, the heat out of this. Uh, so in a conventional system they use uh, copper tubes and they put acetone in it. But what I'm going to be using is, uh, this is a heater hose, and uh, it's, it's wrapped with uh, polyester felt. Uh, and we're going to put water in this to saturate the felt. And uh, the, uh, so it, it'll have a surface area that would be in contact with the evacuated tube that'll be wet. And that's what we're going to be boiling. Okay, uh, so first thing we're going to have to do is put a little water in here. Come on over here, Cat Anna. Uh, so we're going to put a little water in here. And when you have a, an actual system, you'd have an injection system, an automatic injection system. But for our experiment, we're just going to pour a little water in there. Okay. All right, come on over here, Cat. Over on this side. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this in here like this so that uh, the heater hose is inside the evacuated tube right now and uh, the outside of the evacuated tube is connected with this rubber boot. So the idea is that water will go through the center of the heater hose and saturate the polyester felt and when this uh, tube heats up the water will boil. Uh, so, uh, and we have this uh, uh, this temperature probe and we're just going to put it right in here. Now, if this works, water will boil inside the tube, it'll come out here and we'll be able to see what the temperature is. Come on over here right now and take a look at the temperature right now. You see it's already gone it's already 40 degrees and we're inside we, we haven't even put it in the sun yet it's just picking up a little ambient light uh, so we'll take this we're going to put this outside and in the sun or at least the, uh, the sun that we have and we'll see what happens to the temperature all right. Let me get this set up here. Is that pointed in the right direction about? Uh, right. yeah, probably. The sun's over there. The sun's in back of me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess it's a little more complicated than this. The water's not actually boiling. It probably takes a while to heat it up. Uh, 
Oh no, the temperature's going down. It's 40.2 degrees. Anyway, uh, the uh, m amount of sunlight that's available today is not not a heck of a lot. You can see. Oh, we have it upside down. There we go. So the amount of sunlight is uh, uh, 278 watts per square meter. Uh, if we had a really sunny day, we'd get close to uh, 1,000 watts per square meter. But uh, but I still expected the uh, temperature inside here to go up a little more than it did. But uh, it, it might be that we, we need more sunlight or something else. Or maybe the entire theory is bogus. <laughs> All right, so if we look at the outside temperature, outside temperature 39, the inside temperature of the tube is 40.2. Uh, well, 40.3. 40.3. Well, uh, the, the temperature inside the tube won't even register until the water starts to heat up and comes out the top. So it's going to take a while, but uh, I, and I don't expect Katana to stand out here in the cold much longer. But I That's do very, appreciate very her help. That's very, very smart expectation. I do appreciate her help. I might hang out for another ten minutes. Cats or so. don't like the cold. Cats don't like the cold. That's right. All right, so we'll come back to this from time to time and see what happens. You can take one more look at it. You can see the temperature is going up a little. No, it's not. It just went down yeah, it's again. That's 41. Oh, 41. You're right. 41.2. This is in real time. This is not. You know, sewn together, as you can tell by the quality of this video. Yeah, <laughs> we'll do that later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, come back in about uh, five minutes and see if it's uh, heated up a little. Okay, thank you. Well, I figured that uh, part of the problem, well, one of the problems is I'm not getting that much sunlight. Uh, the other thing is, I mean, this is a V, v groove concentrator. So uh, it's not like a parabolic concentrator or a hyperbolic concentrator. Uh, so we're not concentrating that much sunlight. But I thought I would get at higher temperatures. Um, but um, the other thing has to do with the placement of the probe. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the probe and put it right down inside the heater hose. Okay. Uh, that's where I would expect the uh, the steam to come from if we ever did have steam. So we just stick it right down in there, and then put this little cap on. Now we've got to have a, a vent, uh, uh, so we use this for the vent. But we'll be taking uh, readings from the uh, center of the heater hose. Remember, the temperature before was 41 degrees. Now you see it's uh, it's climbing quite rapidly. It's up to 60, 60.4. All right, so uh, we're getting a better reading of the temperature. Still, I, I don't expect the water to, to boil today. We really need uh, more sunlight. And well, it looks like we got a little sun. Uh, and uh, you can see what happened to the temperature inside here. Uh, you can see that, that one. What that one means is that it's over uh, 200 degrees. I don't know exactly what the temperature is, but uh, I'll have to check that another time really cold out here. Let's see what the temperature is on the... Yeah, it's 38 degrees outside and the temperature inside the evacuated tube is over Today 200. Today we'll be testing this V-trough concentrator for the evacuated tube uh, with a little more sun. <laughs> we got a nice bright sun. Hit a few clouds but it's been here for about a half an hour. Let's see what's happening. Uh, we have a temperature probe inserted inside, but uh, if you look carefully, you can actually see the steam uh, coming out the top. So it's 30 degrees outside, and it's probably got to be about 250 degrees inside the tube. Uh, probably still not quite enough to make a uh, steam engine, but I think we're on the right track. Uh, if we use uh, hyperbolic, uh, parabolic curve for our uh, reflector and use uh, better materials than aluminum foil, uh, we could probably get some pretty decent temperatures and actually be able to run a steam engine with it. Anyway, this is just the basic idea. These are some of the preliminary experiments.
<laughs> From the two mad solar scientists. <laughs> Signing off.